Today I'm making my first try at lemon shortbread cookies. You see here I've already weighed out the uh, flour and I'm creaming the butter and sugar together. I probably used the wrong utensil for, for this. A whisk is not very appropriate. You'll see me kind of picking it out every time I go through uh, a whisking session. Here I am back at the whisk, uh, just trying to get as much air and fluff into the creamed butter as possible before I uh, combine more wet and dry. Not a whole lot of wet ingredients for the, the shortbread. Mostly the vanilla is probably the most liquid thing about this whole deal. We got the zest of some lemons in here. I went a little overboard on the zest. Uh, not that it affected the taste too much. We saw a tiny bit of vanilla go in there, and now I'm just measuring out the rest of the dry. Didn't really get the taste of the nutmeg when I um, ate it later, but it was a nice addition. And at last, I've moved to the sensible spatula. It turns again. Okay, that went into the fridge uh, overnight. You can see here I've forgotten to stabilize my cutting board. I came back after I had done that, and now we're just cutting out with a uh, mason jar lid. I don't actually have any um, uh, proper cookie cutters because I don't do a whole lot of rollout type cookies. Mostly, if I'm doing cookies, they're like chocolate chip or the crinkle cookies where you roll it into a ball. You're not doing a whole lot of uh, rolling pin work. Here I tried a couple different uh, designs for putting the little fork uh, fork punctures into the cookie. I went with the pinwheel one just because it looked a little more like a lemon. Boom! Oh, there's the shortbread. This is first attempt at shortbread. Um, some of them are a little taller, and some of them are a little thinner. But I've got a little bit of nice golden browning around the edge. Um, and I'll report back tomorrow if they actually taste good. I'm not gonna. This is like a perfect dozen. So I'm not going to taste any, um, but yeah. Spoiler, they're pretty good. Um, I would probably do a little bit more heavy on the icing, uh, next time around. But yeah, this is the cookie and tea kind of Easter thing we did at work. Uh, I tried that cherry blossom tea, it was pretty darn good. Wasn't able to try everything, that would be a little too much, but uh, I was really happy to kind of share that little moment, share that uh, experience with my coworkers.